so in the division method 36 x to the power of 4 minus 96 x cube plus 76 x square minus 16 x plus 1. So, here in this method, so first term is of the first term is of 36 x to the power of 4 with positive sign. So, we have to take the positive sign at both. So, we have to since we are finding the square, the square root. So, we have to take only the squares, whatever the condition we have taken here, the same condition must be taken here as a perfect square. So, here it is a square root, we have to take only squares, 36 can be written as 6 6 a, it can be written as 6 6 is nothing but 36. So, here we have to take only 6 into 6, but we should not take 12 into 6. So, 12 into 3, so here we have to take only 6 6 a is 36 plus 36 plus of plus is plus 6 6 i is of 36 we have to take only squares since it is square root. So, here x to the power of 4. So, here x to the power of 4 can be split as x square into x square. So, here we can write it as x square into x square. So, here x to the power of 4. So, here multiplying. So, you have to multiply these two 6 into 6 is of 36 x square into x square is of x power 4, bases are same, add up the exponents, 2 plus 2 is of 4. Then now, since this is a division method, we have to go for the, as per the division method, ordinary division, the next step will be of subtracting. So, here we have to subtract, when we subtract, so here plus becomes minus, so here minus becomes plus, so here we have to cancel up these two, because, so here plus 36 x square, the new sign which is of negative minus 36 x to the power of 4 will be gets cancelled. Then now, we can copy down the next two terms that as minus 96 x power 3 and a one more term as, so here 76 with positive sign. So, here plus 76 x square. Then now, the next logical step will be of, so here it is of 6. So, we have to, we have to add up the same 6. So, since it is of plus 6, so, here uh, there is only the monomial here. So, it, it, it itself is the last term. So, it itself is the last term. So, last term must be doubled. So, we have to add up again. So, here plus 6 x square. So, by adding, so by adding up what is a 6 x square the same term. So, we will be adding 6 plus 6 as 12 x square. So, here since it is the last term, since it is the only the monomial, since it is the last term, so we have to add up the same quantity that is 6 x square must be added up to same 6 x square in order to get 12 x square, both are of positive sign. So, we will get positive, but here we need negative. So, here we need negative as the first term, the first term is of, here the first term is of, first term is of negative. So, here we have to take the negative sign, here also we have to take the negative sign. If it is of positive sign, we would have taken positive and positive, whatever we take here, the same thing must be taken here. So, here we need 96. So, the first term is of 12, 12 number of times. So, this, so this is the new dividend. So, here new dividends, I mean first term is of minus 96 x cube. So, here the divisors first one is first term is of 12 x cube. So, let us divide in order to get the quotient, whatever we are getting here that is of quotient. So, here minus 96 x cube. So, here minus 96 x cube must be divided by means of first term. This is the first term of the new dividend. This is the first term of the divisor. So, here I mean 12 x cube. So, here plus 12 x cube let us divide 12 x square. So, here 12 8s are is of 96. So, here minus 8 x cube can be split as x into x into x divided by. So, x square can be split as x into x. So, 1 x and 1 x and 1 more x and 1 more x will be gets cancelled that is equals to minus 8 x as the new quotient. So, new quotient is of minus 8 x then now here also we have to write the same that is minus 8 x. So, we have multiplied these two and we wrote it as the 36 x power 4 then now here entire divisor, the new divisor that is 12 x square minus 8 x must be multiplied with this second term of the quotient. So, this is the quotient. 
So second term quotient. So this is the second term of the quotient. Second term of the quotient must be multiplied with each and every term of the divisor. Minus into plus is of minus 8 into 12. That is 12 8s are is of 96. X into x square is of x cube. Then now minus of minus. Then now we are multiplying the second term of the quotient with second term of the divisor. Minus of minus is of plus 8 8s are is of 64. X into x is of x square. Then now, as the ordinary division I say here, we will be subtracting now. So, in order to subtract, we have to change all the signs of the second expression minus as plus, plus as minus. Then now, minus 96x cube plus 96x cube will be gets cancelled. So, here plus of minus, new sign is of minus, plus of minus is minus, we have to subtract greater minus least. From 76, we have to subtract 64. 6 minus 4 is of 2, 7 minus 6 is of 1 of x squares. So, from 76 x squares, if you subtract 64 x squares, we will be getting 12 x squares. To assess the sign here, among 76 and 64, 76 is greater, its sign is of positive. So, it possesses the positive sign. Then now, let us I mean copy the next two terms. So, next two terms are of 1 is minus 16 x and the last term is of plus 1. So, here, first term must be copied as it is. 12 x square with positive sign. So, 12 x square with positive sign mm. 12 x square. Then now we have to add up the last term in this divisor is of 8 x. We have to add up the same 8 x with the same sign. So, minus 8 x is the last term of the divisor, we have to add up the same minus 8 x to this particular I mean divisor. So, here minus of minus is plus, we have to add up 8 plus 8 is of 16 x. Then now, new sign is of negative. So, you will be getting negative sign. Then now, here we need positive. So, here we have to write the positive sign here and as well as here. We need 12. So, here we need 12 x square. So, so the new dividend is of this is the new dividend 12 x square minus 16 x plus 1 is the new dividend. In the new dividend, the first term is of plus 12 x square. So, first term is of first term of this divisor is of 12 x square. In order to write the quotient here, so 12 x square this dividend's first term that is 12 x square must be divided by divisor's first term in order to get the quotient now here. So, here this is the new dividend, new dividends first term is of plus 12 x square. So, here plus 12 x square is divided by means of the divisors first term that is plus 12 x square plus 12 x square. So, here 12 and 12 gets cancelled by means of 1 and x square x square get by gets by cancelled by means of 1 that is equals to 1. So, here the new quotient is of. So, here this is the new quotient. So, new quotient is of 1. So, here we have to add up only 1 and here also the 1. So, now in the quotient the last term is of third term is of plus 1. So, we have to end multiply the entire new divisor with the last term of the quotient plus 1 into entire divisor plus of plus is of plus 1 into 12 x square is of 12 x square. Then now plus of minus is of minus. 1 into 16 x is of 16 x. Then now plus of plus is of plus 1 1 za is of 1. So, here in the ordinary division. So, here just we will subtract. So, in our subtraction, so you will change the signs of the entire second I mean expression plus as minus, minus as plus and here plus as minus. Then now plus 12 x square and here minus 12 x square will be gets cancelled. Minus 16 x and here plus 16 x plus of minus is minus. 16 x minus 16 x will be 0. So, we can cancel plus of minus is minus. So, 1 minus 1 will be 0 or in other words plus 1 and minus 1 will be gets cancelled. So, here we got I say as 0 as the remainder. So, in this manner. So, we got the square root as. So, this itself is the square root now. So, here therefore, square root of 36 x power 4 minus 96 x power 3 plus 76 x square 
minus 16 x plus 1 is equals to the square root is of 6 x square that is positive minus 8 x plus 1. So, this is the square root of the the given that is 36 x power 4 that of the numerator. So, this is the numerator whose square root is given by means of 6 x square minus 8 x plus 1. So, in the similar manner let us go for the denominator, but here the denominator is of. So, denominator is of root of 4 x square. Now, we are going to find out the root of 4 x square 